Hey guys, today we're crafting. I'm sure we'll be using glitter. Maybe we'll do some painting. Do these colors suit me? Hmm. Should we do some pop art? I don't know what we're gonna craft today, but let's get started. So I have another bottle. I want to try to make this crackly paint look that everybody does, but I don't have Elmer's glue. I have tacky glue or Mod Podge, which they say Mod Podge doesn't work. I'm going to try the tacky glue. So first we're going to paint this bottle with a dark color, put on the glue, and then when it's tacky, we're going to go over it with the darker color and then we're going to hit it with our heat gun and see if this works. Okay, so I got one coat of paint on there. I'm using this red because <laughs> I really don't like it. So I'm going to put two coats on there and then I'm going to put the white over and just this red will show under the white as crackle, I'm hoping. And that would probably look nice since I'm trying to use this red paint for something. And like I said, it's not my favorite red. It's kind of very tomato-y. Um, so I got it to use for like a strawberry, which I mean, it looked okay, but I like the darker red myself. So we're going to use this. You can use any color you want, a dark blue, black, brown. Whatever, we're going to try it with this to see if this works. So now that our jar is dry, what I'm going to do is I put some tacky glue. Let's see if the tacky glue works. Don't know, guys. <laughs> going by the seat of our pants here. And I'm going to do the whole jar with the tacky glue. And then we're going to paint it with the white. Okay, somewhere this stopped recording. Right after I finished putting tacky glue all around the bottle, I put it the white paint on right away, and now I am grabbing the heat gun and going over it, and you can already see the crackle. It's kind of really cool, but you have to hit it with the heat gun or a blow dryer or a fan to cool it really quick. So what happened there was I went too close with the heat gun, and it kind of takes off then the, <laughs> the paint so don't do that don't go too close well i don't know guys it looks like it worked to me what do you think i think you can use tacky glue it's kind of cool looking for cracked paint hmm. i think i'm going to do the top part too guys i don't know why this isn't recording guys i really don't anyway um, we did the bottle. I'm going to do the cap. Now, again, I don't know where it stopped recording, so I guess we'll show you how I did this again. <laughs> so, basically, you just take your glue, your tacky glue, and you put it all over your surface, and then you just get it, let it get tacky. <laughs> let it get tacky. Tackier than it already is. Anyway. And I guess they tell you don't use tacky glue because it really gets tacky really quickly. So if you're doing something really big, this probably, you would have to do it in parts. So that the glue doesn't dry too much on you. So I could understand why they say use Elmer's glue, but... Got it all. So once you have it all coated with the glue, let it get just a little tacky. And then beep. you're just going to put your white paint over it or whatever color paint you're going to put over the darker color. They say, like, don't put too many coats, but I guess it's 
kind of hard to get it in one take because the glue is tacky. Anywho, and then heat gun. Ready? There you go. You see it. So depending on, they said your like brush strokes and stuff is how big or small the cracks would be. Um, either way, the small cracks on the side or the big cracks on the bottom, I like it. And I think it should have both if you're going for a like really natural look. So yeah, so that's that. And so yeah, I want to put my bling on here <laughs> and then let's figure out how else we're gonna decorate this so i literally just took this that i had from something and i crazy glued it there it's still drying and then i just took a piece of bling and i had the stickers that said all different things so i put the hair accessories what i'm gonna do is put like my bobby pins and all my clips inside the jar and on the top of this jar because it has a long thing i'm going to put my scrunchies yes let me show you what do you think guys i'm just put my scrunchies there and put the bobby pins and yeah i'm gonna put that in the bathroom with all the little like i said hair clips and stuff so I think that's a good idea rubber bands and everything can go inside here and i actually quite like it you guys let me know what you think down in the comments now you could put kitchen there which i was going to try a rub on but i didn't know if it worked with the paint so i guess i could have did mod podge over this paint and then um put like um try to rub on transfer i don't know but anyway <laughs> then you could put kitchen you could put sugar you can write something i don't know and then put you know whatever you want in here but just an idea because i kind of like this one and and i need one so there you go thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure mm -hmm.